All right, we're here with head women's basketball coach Paula Kruger. Women's basketball team is going to hit the road this weekend to begin non-conference play. They're going to take on Wayne State and Northern State. Uh, coach Kruger heading into this weekend, two very um, big games for regional implications and two very good teams. Um, what are you hoping to get out of this weekend playing these two very tough opponents? I think when you can get away from your home gym right away and get out on the road and um, play two really good opponents that, you know, I'm, I'm trying to establish mental toughness, uh, you know, to kind of get out of our comfort zone, to show the kids what they're made of. And, you know, for us right now, it's just getting back on the floor and being healthy. This is as much of a rebuilding year as we have had because in an essence, you know, as many people as we have back, they're just back for the first time since, you know, December of last year. So, um, you know, for us, it's a chance to gel. It's a chance to grow and it's just a, a flat out chance to get tough. And talk about Wayne State, one of the teams are going to take on a very a very tough opponent. They're nationally ranked. Um, you saw them early last year. Uh, how do you attack a team like that that, you know, has a lot of talent and, and a lot of depth? You know, they're huge. Besides that, they're so long. Um, they're aggressive. You know, they play a, a matchup zone that we just don't see a ton of and they, they live and they die by it. And, you know, for us, we've talked about patience and being strong with the ball, and I think that's how you attack it. I think I think you have to play loose. I think you you know against the zone. There's a lot of times there's a pressure to hit shots right away and that kind of thing. And I just want the kids to go in and be patient and, and kind of let the game come, get with the flow, and really focus on our defense creating some offense for us. And you kind of spoke about last season an unfortunate rash of injuries for your team, um, having two starters go down in the same game with with tearing their ACLs and then losing another one um, a few weeks later. What did you learn from last season, you know, losing those three players that you think will help you prepare for this season? We gained invaluable experience for some of those younger kids. You know, there was kids that played a ton of minutes that maybe wouldn't have played as many minutes had we stayed healthy. Um, I think I learned that, you know, <laughs> every day is a surprise, you know, and I think the kids learned that too. But when you battle through, I think you can really pull some things together. And, um, you know, it, it creates an even stronger bond, I think, um, to go through that and then to get those people back. Talk about uh, uh, Stephanie Fogel a little bit. She really stepped up last year in the absence of some of your perimeter players. Um, and it was definitely a threat to score, um, you know, knock down the three-point shot. How do you see her um, evolving and growing into your offense this season? You know, I think for Steph, it's trying to transcend that idea of what a traditional point guard is, is, you know, it used to be point guards set up other people to score and they, you know, they were the, your assist leader and, and a floor captain. And now it's, it's more than that. It's floor captain. It's setting people up and it's scoring yourself. And Steph has an uncanny ability to score for someone that's only about five, six. You know, she gets to the paint real well. She shoots the three real well. And, and for her, it's to keep the mentality she had at the end of last year and put it into this season's role. Also, talk a little bit about both Angie Charchalis and Ali Grizoulis. You lost them last season to injury. Um, how's their preseason been going so far, and what do you think about their progress? You know, they're both back. They're both playing hard. Um, you know, it's a little different to look out there and see the two new knee braces, you know, running beside each other. But, you know, other than the brace, you wouldn't know that anything, anything had happened. They don't seem tentative. You know, they're going to the rim strong. They're rebounding, you know, I think. With anything, it's going to take that first kind of big hit or that first jar when they realize, oh, hey, I'm okay. And then I think really all the cobwebs will be gone and any, any of those fears will be alleviated. And uh, you graduated a very good player in Brecca Gaffney last season. This year, you know, you have a couple, dif a few different players that can maybe step into that role down in the paint. You have Tori Langis, Katie Carty, Taylor McBain. What are you looking for out of that group of players, um, you know, down in the paint? I'm looking for the best Tory, the best Katie, and the best Taylor that we can get. You know, you don't replace somebody like Brecca. Um, you know, you, you bring in somebody different. Everybody has their role. You know, Tory is a tremendous outside shooter for a post player. Taylor McBain has done everything you can ask and more. And defensively, you know, can guard any position on the floor. And you know, Katie Carty's a senior who is, you know, has has gone through the ranks and and continued to grow. And you know, between the three, we we have three very different options at the post. And obviously, you know, coaches will talk about preseason polls, and a lot of most coaches don't put a lot of stock in them. And you know, you you probably looked at that preseason poll, you know, the other week and said, "Hey, we're 11th." Uh, what what did you think when you saw that? You know, you, your initial reaction is, "Wow, I think we're better than that." Um, you know, but then if you take time and you think about it logically, you know, when you don't have three players playing for a large part of the season, nobody has truly seen them play. Um, you know, and it's based on you know, the things that you've seen in the past. And I think what it does for us is I think it puts a little fuel in the fire 
but I also think it gives us an opportunity to go into games and to be loose and, and to be confident and to show that, that we're more than that ranking, but we didn't really talk about it. I never, we didn't really mention it. I sent it out in an email and that was all that was said. Well, thanks, Paula, for your time. I really appreciate it, and good luck this weekend on the road in your first two games.